won't obey anyone else. He won't be any good in the war neither. He, he shies at every sound. I'm sorry. What Joe's going on going to and volunteering. I see. What's your name, lad? Albert, sir. And how old 19, are you, Albert? Sir. Is that the truth? No, sir, but, but I look 19 and I'm bigger than most 19 year olds and I'm, I'm strong, sir, and I'm not afraid of anything. I don't doubt your qualifications, Albert. But the law is very clear about the proper age for soldiering. A scene there from Steven Spielberg's War Horse. It doesn't open till Christmas Day, but it's already been nominated for Best Picture at the Golden Globes. The movie also marks the big screen debut and break of a lifetime for the young man you just saw, Jeremy Irvine. He joins us now. Welcome. Yeah. To, let me get this right. The last thing you played before starring in a Steven Spielberg movie is a tree. Yeah, yeah, a tree. And the best tree you'll ever see. No, I was, um, no, I was yeah, in a theatre show with no lines. So I was, um, you know, I'd kind of, all my friends would take the mick out of me saying, you know, oh God, you're just going to be a tree. And lo and behold, I walk on first scene, yeah. two branches. And, uh, you're a real tree, but you, you worked so hard at this, you auditioned again and again and again. Yeah. And finally, you get word that Steven Spielberg himself wants to see you for an audition. Yeah, yeah, I think I got a call about 10 o'clock one night, I think, saying, can you go meet Steven Spielberg for tea you the next day? You must have been so nervous. Yeah, you know, I kind of did what every actor would do and kind of freaked out, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it terrified. I don't think I slept much, but, um, you know, it's what the kind of, I think the greatest asset that Steven Spielberg has, sort of, as a director, you know, is, is his ability to make you feel so comfortable, you know, around well, him. And the know. way he made you feel comfortable, I love this story. You walk in for the audition, you hand the script, it's all surprise, you're handed a script. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this, this is with my agent who just loves messing with me, so he, um, yeah, yeah, he gets me in, so he's got another audition, you know, I've been auditioning for about two months, so this is kind of normal by this point, and uh, get in front of the camera and they say, look, we want this to be spontaneous, so they give me a piece of script and say, look, don't turn it over until we press action, I'm sure, you know, whatever Steven Spielberg wants, and uh, yeah, and they press action, I turn over the script and I start reading, and they've made some fake Warhol scripts, so I start reading, I go, Joey, Joey, Steven Spielberg wants me to play Albert in the feature film of Warhol, that's and how you found out, yeah, I've got a DVD at home with uh, me finding out, which is uh, embarrassing, and we'll never see the light of day, <laughs> I'm sure we'll see it one day. <laughs> Tell us quickly, this is a story that every young person mm. in Britain grows up knowing, War Horse. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was read the book when I was about eight or nine, I think, by my parents. And, uh, you know, it's, I think there's something that a lot of kids, I think, especially can relate to, you know, Michael Pergo really does write for children. And um, it's, I think, you know, everyone's had that childhood friend, you know, be it a best friend, brother or sister, and, and we can all sort of... Imagine what that's like to have that taken away from you. And, you know, with the backdrop of the First World War, I think it's, it's an incredibly uh, gripping story. And this was your first interview as well, promoting a film. Congratulations. <laughs> you did great. Jeremy, you're right, everyone. War Horse opens on Christmas Day.